today's message and probably for next week too I'm going to be looking at one of Jesus' parables. It's found in Matthew chapter 13 and it's called the parable of the sower. So Jesus told this story and he said a man went out to sow his seed. Now in those days they didn't plough the land and then plant it. They would just get out and scatter the seed by hand. And so this farmer is scattering the seed. Some of it fell on a pathway where it was hard trodden down soil and so it just sat on the surface and the birds came and picked that off very quickly. Some of it fell on shallow ground where it grew very quickly but it couldn't put roots down because the soil was too shallow and so as soon as the hot sun came out it withered. The third lot fell on ground that had lots of thorns in it and while it was able to grow the thorns would choke it out because they were much more energetic in their growth and so the plant was never able to really produce much. It was the last lot that fell on the good soil that would eventually produce a crop. Now he told that story and then a little bit later the disciples asked him what did you mean by that story? What was it all about? And Jesus explained that the seed was the news about the kingdom of God. It's about the kingdom but how it's received differently by different groups of people. So today I'm going to just look at that first two, the path and the shallow soil. Now that, that fell on the path and the pathway was soil that had been packed down by feet over the time and it was packed hard and solid. So the seed just sat on the surface and I think the birds would have been watching and as soon as they saw the seed on the surface they'd come and pick it off. The seed never sat there long enough for it to actually um, start to penetrate the soil. The message of the gospel is about our sin and our need of forgiveness and it's not a message that the world receives very lightly or easily and this hard soil is soil that where people have just grown up without the message of God and they're living quite happily in the world and they're doing everything the world's ways and they might be quite successful so when they hear a message about that they need forgiveness it just doesn't sink in it doesn't make sense in fact in 1 Corinthians 1:18 Paul says this for the message of the cross is foolishness to those who are perishing but to those who are being saved it's the power of God you really can't be neutral about this message of our need of forgiveness because we are sinful and so this is the hard soil and it explains why you can give the same message to two different people and some people just poo-hoo it, no ridiculous, while others receive it. What does it say to us if we want a person who's like that to um, hear the good news of the kingdom? Because if we just tell them, it's going to bounce off. The birds actually represent the fact that the enemy will come very quickly and pick off um, the seed that we've, we've, plant, we've planted or sown um, because he doesn't want them to have any chance of hearing the word. What does it say to us? It says we're not going to just be able to have that person immediately hear and understand. What we need to do for such a person is to befriend them, to love them, to respect them, but to keep living the life that is honouring to God with the hope that eventually that person will say, what makes you be able to be so patient with so-and-so? Or um, why do you seem so content when everything around you is looking pretty disastrous? And then of course we're able to tell them why. And hopefully that'll open up a little bit of a gap in the soil that um, they'll think, well, yeah, maybe there is something to this. Another way of happening, and it's not a very nice way for people, is if they have some disaster, some catastrophe, and they suddenly realise that the life they've been living just has no answers and is not helping them at all. That's when the soil is cracked wide open and we have the opportunity to share with them the love of Jesus and the healing power of Jesus. The second type of soil that he mentioned is shallow soil. When the seed falls into the shallow soil, it grows up very quickly and it doesn't get down roots because there's just not enough depth for it to go down. And he's saying 
This represents people who hear the message of Jesus and receive it with great joy. And we see this, we see some people have an amazing life-changing experience of Jesus healing or bringing them out of addiction to something and they're on fire and they just want to tell their story of how Jesus has absolutely changed their lives. We love to hear their story. Now their experience may be very real and their response very genuine, but if they don't develop a relationship with Jesus, it's not going to last. R.C. Sproul, who's no longer with us, but a very good teacher, says, no one is saved by their profession of faith. They are saved by their possession of faith. John 15 puts it this way. It's a picture of Jesus saying he is the vine. Chapter, uh, chapter 15, verse 5. I am the vine, you are the branches. If you remain in me and I in you, you will bear much fruit. Apart from me, you can do nothing. We are so excited when a person seems to give a commitment to Jesus, but we need to realise that is only a first step. That person needs to be taught how how to develop a relationship with Jesus. If not, commitment won't last. So mentoring, teaching is a vital part for a new Christian. But as a church, we're not all that good at that because it takes time and it takes effort. The plant may grow up quickly, but without being rooted in Jesus, it cannot last. Today's culture is certainly hostile to the gospel. If we want to live as a Christian in this culture, we really have to have our roots deep down into Jesus.